GI bleeding, very, very common cause of a low blood count. Anemia means your blood count is low. There's not enough red blood cells there. GI bleeding can be anywhere from the throat all the way down through the esophagus, through the stomach, through the small intestines, uh, into the large intestines. All of those areas can have bleeding. In the esophagus, there are some people that get tears in the lining of the esophagus and blood vessels can rupture there from retching and from vomiting. And so part of the GI bleeding can actually come uh, from the esophagus, more so in the stomach and in the duodenum. That's where ulcers occur. That's where gastritis occurs. People that are taking too much aspirin, people that are taking too much ibuprofen, people that have a little bit of heartburn, acid indigestion, they could be having GI bleeding and not know it and their blood count be real low. Usually if people are having upper GI bleeding, the stools will be a black, tarry stool. We need to always know the color of our stools. Same thing with the duodenum, heartburn, usually on an empty stomach. That's the upper GI bleeding. In the small intestines, you can have bleeding not as common as in the large intestines. The large intestines can be from illnesses like inflammation of the colon diverticulitis. Uh, it could be from some polyps that are bleeding. Uh, if you have col uh, colonoscopy and they take out some polyps, they can leave some bleeding in there. Cancer can cause bleeding. When you're anemic and your doctor wants to rule out GI bleeding, he's always thinking, could there be a hidden tumor? And if so, we want to be sure that we find it early. So we have to have an EGD where they look down into the stomach and we have to have colonoscopy. We get stool for occult blood. Your doctor should be able to rule out if you have GI bleeding. Good luck on that.